The easiest way to tell Pigeonhole that you want to include a SolidWorks Enterprise PDM's serial number is to enclose the, the name of the serial number within two pound symbols. And so you see here, if the user chooses a lift, he's going to get the lift counter. If he chooses a swing, he's going to get a swing counter. Now I've set up my data card itself to just simply have the counter here on the card. And then what I've done just to show you, I can then take that information. So in this case, I'm going to just take the type with the width and the counter and put that value in to generate a part number. So to show you what that looks like, I can click on the card, build the gate, choose, in this case, I won't choose my lift. You see the user sees the name of the counter. It doesn't actually take the number yet because in case the user count can cancels or chooses a different type, I wouldn't want to take up a count. But as soon as he takes a, a OK, then you'll see that that counter then gets populated up. And just to show you it's a little bit different, let's go ahead and choose a swing gate this time. Choosing the swing and watch the number be different 